All right. This is all bad news. All right, but let's talk about the about this kid, this clockmaker kid, because something happened that I I know that if I hadn't been getting on the tour, I probably would have um, done this work. But a number of people have now investigated this so-called clock that uh, uh, the kid made, Ahmed, the kid there in Irving, Texas. And you know, what he did is he, he took either a, a countdown clock or a, a clock radio, just took it apart and then screwed it into this, uh, uh, you know, screwed it into a, into a pencil case. Now, can you back up and give some people a little background on this? Because I think it's not, I, th- I mean, I could be dead wrong on this, but I, I think there's a, probably a few people, especially our European and Australian listeners okay. that don't remember. So the what story. happened here is we have a kid named Ahmed who is Muslim. And, uh, this, of course, in we, Texas, in Texas, Irving, Texas now, which is right near Garland, where we had a, an actual uh, shootout when they had the cartoon uh, contest. So people a little bit on edge there, understandably. Um, this kid created, a, you know, he said he invented a clock, which he didn't. He just unscre- you know, just took a casing off of a, um, a, uh, an, uh, an alarm clock. And put it into a into a kind of a briefcase, like a pencil briefcase. It went off. It started beeping during English class. And he said, hey, look at my cool clock. And then the English teacher said, no, that's not cool. Although, you know, we don't really know the story because it was engineering teacher, you know, whatever. We have no idea what's true there. But then he was taken downtown for questioning and he was put in handcuffs. And then his sister was able to take pictures of that, of him in handcuffs and tweeting. Uh, his dad is... Um, um, has participated in a lot of uh, vocal and very um, uh, visible protests against is, uh, Islamophobia. Uh, in particular, he participated in the mock trial with a preacher, you'll recall, I think it was in Florida, who wanted to burn the Quran. Um, so it felt. This, this guy's dad was involved in that. That's an old story. Yeah. Yeah, and this I, guy's dad was involved in that. Yeah, he's he also ran for president of. Uh, oh, okay. Um, what is it? Where do you run for president? Mm, I can't remember right now. Twice, including 2015. Damn, what country was it? That doesn't matter. So the things that I noticed right off the bat were one uh, that Care was in on it. That's the um, the council on Arab Arab uh, is uh, Islamic Islam relations, relations or, right. or American Islamic relations. Right. That's it. Which in the past, it's a front organization for the for Hamas. Muslim, yeah. It's, right. Well, no, but it, in in the past, it was implicated as a, a front organization for raising money for Hamas and other terror groups. Yeah. Although no one was ever convicted, but you know, it's all right, fine. Now, uh, so and then immediately everyone was like, oh, this is racist, bigoted, Texans, rednecks, horrible people. This would not have happened if the kid's name was Terry. Although I'd like to point out that kid point uses his hand as a gun and gets, you know, uh, thrown out of school. Yeah. White kid. Yeah. All kinds of stuff like that. This stuff. But, oh, he was put in handcuffs. He never would have been put in. It's just nuts. Um, so now it turns out this kid didn't invent anything. There's no cool clock. You know, he, there's nothing. He just, you know, pulled something apart, put it into a suitcase, and then made it go off during the lesson. So, you know, that's very sketchy. But what I wanted to figure out is what was CARE's involvement. And uh, uh, I saw he had a, a little press gathering. And there's all these uh, all these women standing around him, all um, with uh, hijabs. Is it hijab? That's the scarf, right? Not the Habib? Uh, yeah, I hijab. think so. I think that's You're the, the one that corrected me on that. Yeah, last I, time. I keep, uh, I think it's the hijab. And, and so I pay, I was, and they were prompting him. They're, they're, they're whispering off to him. So the kid is doing a press conference. And now he, and he has off to the right, he has, he has like lawyers and all these, I think are PR women, which we'll find out in a moment is true. And just listen to a little bit of how this kid is talking about what happened. The, how it's being politicized and how this kid is being abused. You have your and then go from there. Wait till you invent yeah. something Ahmed. and then go. <laughs> yeah, you, Ahmed, do you, have, you, you said you have your clock. Do, do you have your clock? Um, no, the police still have my property. <laughs> what was the conversation between you and your teacher when this first happened? No. No. Okay. no. So, I don't know if you can hear, but it's, uh, someone. the question is, what was the conversa- conversation between you and your teacher? He answers no. He answers no. But I'm like, why? This first no. 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 <laughs> the police he chief can't wants comment to meet with on you. Right Are you going to meet with the police why? chief? He says he wants to meet with you. The police chief. Do you want to meet with him? Or? Not without my lawyer, no. Not without my lawyer, no. 
So now this kid who's 14 is like, I can't comment on anything, not without my lawyer. <laughs> okay. Uh, y'all mentioned that you're still suspended. Are, are you willing to meet the school? The school said that they've, they've wanted to meet with y'all this week and, and they haven't been able to do so. No, far. I'm transferring school, so I don't see a point in that. You don't what want to go back school? to school? What school are you trying to transfer to? Um, we, don't have definites on that. we don't have definites on that yet. Do you hear, do you hear the, I don't know if you can hear this, John. Do you hear the woman prompting him what to say? What school yeah, are you transferring some to? Mumbling, you hear mumbling. Yeah, what school are you transferring to? Do? She's like, we don't have definites on that. We don't have definites on that yet. Is it a private school? We don't have school? definites. Yeah, but she, but yeah, but she, he's being prompted by this woman. Yeah, no, I understand. We don't have we don't have a definite on it yet. He's still looking. now she's just answering for him. Get options. You seem like you're doing pretty well. Are you? How are you emotionally? How are you taking all this? I felt pretty down that no one would know about this, but I guess since all the supporters online and social media, it brought me to the point where I could I could see people who don't care for me, but every other person. It made me really happy to see all these people support me and support others. Are you going to go to the White House and accept the president's invitation? Yes. All right, thank you so much. We really this appreciate it. This president is a sucker. Okay, now listen to this. So this, this is, is, by the way, I want to stop for just a second. This president is a sucker. He's in on it, John. Fuck it, he's well, in, on it. in on he's it. He's in on it. The, so this kid... You know, it, it, we see tons of stories where something happens and the kid is with the parents, usually mom and dad, you know, they'll be sitting down or whatever. No, this kid is surrounded by suits and by, uh, uh, I think, well, that I, you'll find out in a minute, by PR women. And now they're going to wrap up this conference. Just listen. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Let us know if you have any further follow-up questions. Ahmed's going to go inside, but we can talk to you um, on a different level. We're not going to answer any questions about the legal issues, um, but we can talk about uh, some of the more social issues that are oh. related to this story. Thank you so much for yes. coming. Yes, yes, the social issues. Exactly. He's got a whole PR team. Now, I go back and look, and sure shooting, the day after this took place... Um, the kid is on, I think it's on MSNBC, yeah, with the lesbian, Chris Hayes. And the same woman is there. Turns out she is a representative from CARE. It's the same woman. She's actually dressed exactly the same. I don't know, you know, she has other scarves to put on, but uh, it's exactly the same. And just listen to this. Alia, uh, when did you, uh, when did the parents and you find out about what had happened to Ahmed? Um, so the parents found out when they finally did contact him, uh, his parents, when they were in the jail, when they were at the police station there in Irving. Um, so they finally contacted the parents, even though Ahmed had repeatedly um, asked for them to get his parents involved. And they repeatedly refused until once at the police station, his family, his mother and his father and his sister went up there. Um, some of the, the pictures that are circulating on social media are thanks to his uh, sister's quick thinking. Um, she took some pictures. She recorded some information, which was really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, after that, in the evening time, uh, we were notified about the case situation and then met with the family the following morning to get the details of what had happened. Okay. So she's, she's a, a PR rep. And... You know, it, we may have discrimination, we may have bigotry, we may have all kinds of things, but to take this kid and to abuse him is 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 not in order. It's not in order, and and she's not the only one. Oh no, watch MIT try to slip in a native ad. Hey, listen, overwhelming. I want I want to yeah. bring in someone else who's voiced their support for Ahmed, uh, Dr. Shonda Prescott Weinstein, an astrophysicist at MIT, uh, which Ahmed call, has called his dream school. Um, doctor, you're there. Uh, anything you want to say to Ahmed about uh, MIT and, and, and what kind of place it would be should he want to check you out there? So, Ahmed, I'm so happy that um, you're coming out on top. And I just want to say, by the way, you are my ideal student, a creative, independent thinker like you. What do you mean? He ripped apart an alarm clock and put it in a briefcase. Oh, woo! Yeah, this is the this is the kind of uh, student we want at MIT. Is the kind of person who should be becoming a physicist. As a theoretical physicist, I would love it if you took an interest in the mathematical side. Although you're clearly very adept with your hands <laughs> and at building things, so I hope I hope you'll think about theoretical physics. 
if there's any possibility that you can come visit us at MIT, I would love to give you a tour of the Center for Theoretical Physics and the Kavli Institute for Astrophysics. And I'm hearing from my former advisors at Harvard College that they would love for you to come to the Center for Astrophysics, the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. So I really hope that you'll come visit us in Cambridge. Now, if that wasn't enough, let's say it one more time, everybody. Listen up. It would be fantastic to have you. You are the kind of student that we want at places like MIT and Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an ad. Oh, God. Come on, everybody. Come on. If you're building clocks and briefcases, come on, everybody. And there's a kicker at the end here. Listen to the, uh, the PR woman, how she, uh, how she leaves the, uh, the interview. <laughs> Uh, Matt, you're going to, obviously, it's a plane flight and such, but maybe you can go check it out. I know it's early for college, you're only 14, but, you know, these, these things start early these days. That's a fact right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ahmed Mohammed, Ali Salem, and Shonda Prescott-Weinstein, um, thank you all for being here. Thank you for coming on, and you're a remarkably, remarkably poised young man. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, she says. Yeah, because it's all about her. Now, this, wow. this is a scam of epic proportions, and they're abusing this kid. It's child abuse. Running I him agree. around everywhere. Child abuse, I tell you. Despicable. And this kid, you know, he's programmed. He's like MK Ultra with his answers. No, I'm not without my lawyers. <laughs> lawyers.